Hey guys, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my top five masks at the moment. These are the masks that I've been keeping in my rotation masks that I use for different things and that I really, really, really love. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the video. I don't want to make this too long if I don't have to. So the first one I'm going to talk about, I don't think I've ever mentioned on my channel before, and this is the Lush Mask of Magnum Minty. This is packed full of peppermint, kaolin, and scrubby aduki beans for deeply cleansed skin. What's really neat about this Lush mask compared to the other masks that they offer at Lush is that this is a self-preserving mask, meaning that you don't have to keep it in your fridge. You can keep it um, elsewhere and it's not going to go bad as quick. Now, this does have an extra this does have an expiration date on it um, I bought mine quite some time ago it says it was made on March 15th expires July 15th of 2016 and I've used this quite a number of times I definitely have to get more use out of it before the 15th I'll probably use it every single day <laughs> because I do want to get my use out of this I love this mask this is a mask that I will not use when my skin is going crazy. This is more of a mask that I will use to keep up with my skin when I feel like my skin just needs an extra oomph, but it's not like super broken out or oily or anything. Just my skin needs a little pick-me-up or I, I feel like the zit coming on. This is a mask that's really nice to use because it does not dehydrate your skin. It does not leave your skin feeling parched and overly mattified. It just leaves your skin feeling just like nourished. I, I feel like it's deeply cleansed, but it's not dry at all. Plus, when you start washing this off, you kind of feel the scrubbiness going on and it does exfoliate your skin. Um, but this mask, upon contact, it's just very cooling. It feels so, so cooling. Oh my gosh, it feels like just really cold water on your face because it does have that um, mask, mask, that minty feel to your face skin so it does tingle but it does not burn which is one of the main things that I really like about this mask I've tried the julep mask that is also by that also has mint in it and I find that that's really really um, bothersome on my skin like it really makes my skin burn so I don't know I don't get this with this mask um, it has a whole bunch of things in it that's natural of course like any lush product is it has honey kaolin bentone gel which I think has to do with the kaolin, um, peppermint oil, um, just a whole bunch of different oils, vanilla. It smells really good too. Like it smells like mint and kind of, kind of nutty. I wonder if it has nuts in it. Does not say, does not say. It can be used on the face and body during times of trouble or just as a regular maintenance routine, which is what I use it for mainly. It's, it's one of those masks that I will use in my routine, whether I used um, an exfoliating mask the night before or a pore refining mask, this is one of those all over masks for me. Not really for pore refining or oil control or anything, it's more of just making my skin feel good, like a pampering kind of thing, you know what I mean? So I really love this, I definitely want to always have one on hand, so yeah, I love it. I will have the prices listed as I speak about them because I can't remember the top of my head. Okay. The next mask I want to talk about is by Sephora, and this is the mask right here. And this is their Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying with Zinc and Copper. I believe they've changed the packaging on this. I was in Sephora the other day, and I was checking this out again, and I noticed I thought it was a whole, a whole new product, but I think it was just repackaged. I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think. Anyway. Um, so I have talked about this mask before. I've reviewed it before in another video. I'll link that video down below, which I reviewed a whole bunch of products. This is how much I've used out of that mask, and I love, love this mask. Since I reviewed that this mask initially, I've just really come to love it. Um, I still don't think it smells bad. It just smells really like spa-like to me. Um, it, it is gray like that. It is very thick and gritty. Um, now this is a mask that I will turn to when my skin is screaming for help, when I am breaking out and I'm oily, when I really am not oily, when my skin's just really out of whack and I need to mattify and really exfoliate. Maybe I had a heavy makeup week or I used um, a product um, that made my skin break out. I just like to use this as kind of like 
bring me back to homeostasis kind of thing. Um, it's very purifying, it's definitely mattifying, so it definitely dries out my skin, but sometimes I really need that. I just need to suck everything out of my skin, like out of my pores and get all that gunk out. And this is the mask that I will turn to for that. I think it's more geared towards um, normal to oily skin types. Right now, and this kind, right now my skin is not super, super dry. It is more on the normal side, but like I said, sometimes I get really oily all of a sudden and I just need something. So this has been, oh, it really helps. I also use this as a spot treatment if I have a zit, like one of those obnoxious under the skin kind of pimples. I will pat this on overnight and I leave it because I feel like it definitely uh, dries out the pimple where it would prevent me from actually popping it and doing all that crazy stuff that you should not do to your skin, but that we all do. But yeah, I really like this mask. Definitely recommend. Another mask that I want to talk about, and I've recently started using this mask, maybe this year. Um, not sure if I've ever talked about it before, but this is the Bosha Charcoal Pore Pudding Intensive Wash Off Treatment. Now this comes with two different kinds of clays, black clay, white clay, I believe that's what it says. No, black and white charcoal. Two part pore pudding powered by black and white charcoal. The powerful pair work together to minimize the appearance of pores while balancing the skin for ideal results. This comes with a little spatula, which is I think, which I think is really cute, and it's actually in my bathroom. Um, but inside, it does come swirled together. But as you use it, um, it just kind of turns into this grayish, grayish color. So I just grab a big, you know, dollop, and I just lather this onto my skin. This is the kind of mask that I will also use it when my skin is feeling oily and just gunky, and I feel like it's just congested and I want to just really 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 work on um, cleaning my pores out this is another mask that I will turn to but this is not mattifying this does not dry out my skin it leaves my skin feeling very plump even though it's charcoal this does not leave my skin dry at all it is pretty amazing <laughs> because you do get the benefits of charcoal which mattifies and um, takes out all the impurities out of your skin but it does not dry out your skin so if you are dry this is the mask for you this is the answer to your prayers <laughs> this is the mask that you want to turn to um, before you get it I would definitely recommend maybe getting a sample it is kind of on the pricier spectrum of uh, skincare Bosch is kind of pricey but I love this I love this this is a really great mask that's why it's in this video, huh? <laughs> okay, the nest, the nest, the nest. The next mask is also by Bosha, and I have used two of these little sample things, deluxe samples up, and this is a luminizing black mask. This is a peel-off mask. It says an innovative peel-off mask that helps boost skin clarity and minimize the appearance of pores. Okay, so there's kind of a learning curve to this mask. When I first got it, I applied very a very thin layer on my skin and it was so painful to remove. Like, I was there for a good maybe 20 minutes trying to get this thing off my skin and it was making my skin super red. I feel like I was waxing my face. It was bad. It was so bad. <laughs> okay, so you have to apply a thick, thick layer of this onto your skin. Um, or wherever you want to pretty much clear your pores up. So I usually apply this to my nose area. Now I don't, I haven't done it lately because since I've gotten my nose ring, I don't want to, you know, bring down, bring my nose ring with it. But before I pierced my nose, I used to use it pretty much as a nose strip and I would just, and it would get all that gunky stuff out of my pores around my nose, which is a problem area. Um, also around you know right here around the sides of my mouth are always places that I have just like congested um, white heads and that kind of thing so this is really good for that um, I also apply it to my cheek area and I just gently peel it off and I do find that it takes out a lot of my white heads that won't come off with any of the masks that you actually have to extract and you don't want to go in and you know push them out you well I just spit Sorry, um, you'd want to use something like this, I feel is a little bit um, more gentle on your skin and that kind of thing. You definitely want to make sure that you apply a thicker layer 
where you do apply this because if not all you'll be doing is lifting up hair like little baby hairs I mean if that's what you want to lift I mean if you want to take those out by all means use this you know if you want for that but I mainly look for it for clearing out those really really fine pores that I really can't get into but I know that they're there and I know that they're congested um, this is really great for that so I will be getting a full size of this I've just been using this up okay and the last mask why is that like a tongue twister to me? The last mask. The last mask in this top five video is this one. And this is by Kaolin. I think I'm saying that right. And this is the Where is Pore Steam Pore Pack. This is a, tu a duo. A dual mask? No. This is a two-parter. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. This mask has two parts. So the first part is hot. And that is going to open up your pores and extract and get all the gunk out. So you apply this and let me open it. And it looks like that. It looks like a clay mask. And once you start rubbing it into your skin, you just feel it getting warm. And I like to keep buffing it in because I feel like it works better when I do that. And you leave that on for 5 to 10 minutes. And then you wash your face with warm water. Right? No, with cold water. Anyway. Um, I always have to read the directions when I apply this mask <laughs> because I always forget. So you you rinse it off with cold water, then you apply step two, which is pore tightening, and this is gonna feel really cooling on your skin. It feels a lot like the mask of Magnum Minty, but not minty. It just feels cool. So uh, it kind of feels like mentholy, sort of. Well, I guess a little bit like the mint mask, um, but this is just going to reduce your pore size so it's gonna literally shrink your pores and it's so crazy every time I use this mask the morning after I wake up I look at my pores and they just I can visibly tell that they're clean first of all and then second that they've actually they just look a little bit more refined and as you guys know I hate hate using primers I think my skin reacts very negatively to them I will use them if I know that I'm gonna be in front of a camera for a long period of time or if I want to take close-ups of a makeup look or of something that I've done you know that that it needs to be photographed or I just want to look really 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 spiffy and airbrushed I use a primer but I don't like to because I know that it's gonna clog my pores up and it's just it's bad news on my skin I'm telling you so this I feel like it keeps my pores at bay and I'm not wearing a primer today you probably can't tell from this distance but I feel like my pores look pretty good and I used this mask maybe like three or four days ago and I swear it works I swear I swear it does <laughs> so I highly recommend that so I do like as you can see I do use them for different you know different things and I feel like they all all are well deserved on this top five I do use a lot of other masks if you guys are interested in the other masks that I use please let me know and I will do that video as well so anyway that is the end of my top five masks of life can we say that yeah I'm gonna say that anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel please 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 take the time to subscribe hit the like button stay a while I'd love to have you I hope you have a great day and I will catch you in my next one bye